So to play Crazy Aids, we're going to need to keep track of cards. We had deck. We also had pile, and pile was a lot more useful because it was built around an array list. And right now we'll create a class called card collection, and it's going to be some of the convenient methods that deck had, like shuffle, combined with the convenience we had in array list. So here's our card collection. We're going to have a label for this that's a string. And then, of course, we have our array list filled with cards. All right, so this class is called Card Collection, so let's get that created first. In Chapter 14, right-click, New Java Class. Paste Card Collection. Make sure there's no space. It's in the right project. Okay. And now I'm going to just put the body of the class in there. All right, of course, we have to import. That'll take care of that problem, but we don't know what card is. All right, so how do we fix that? Uh, interesting. This did not end up in the right package. It's in the default package. So what I'm going to do is close the, well, save the code, close it. Now I'm going to drag it into Chapter 14 Project Folder and hit Refactor. And now when I open up Card Collection, it's got already. Refactory means modify the code so it actually becomes uh, inside of, of Chapter 14 package. And so it added this code right here at the top. Okay. Uh, still don't know what card is, though. So we have that from Chapter 13. All right. So I'm going to copy and paste this as a uh, just a Java file. So it's from Chapter 13. I'm going to go into chapter 14, right click and paste. So there's two choices. Just uh, refactor copy is one option. I'm just gonna do, we'll try copy and see how that works. Okay, so if I did refactor copy, it would have put it in package chapter 14. Uh, but just so you can see, it's very easy to fix that. All right, so now, card collection should know what card is. Yep. All right, we're ready to get started. So we're going to loosely base this on the pile class right here. And if we look at, we don't need to see card. Okay, I better save that. All right, I probably don't need chapter 13 Java. So... Card collection and pile are essentially the same, so one thing to do would basically be to copy most of these methods, put them right in a card collection, and luckily the array in list is also called cards, same name. Uh, we do need to initialize the other variable right here, the other fields uh, in the constructor. So we have our constructor right here. All right, so we have the add card, pop card, Here we go. We'll fix the formatting in a minute. All right, now what they're mentioning here is this is the object itself. Cards, and you can see it highlighted, is right here. Uh, and so it's the cards field or the cards variable of the current or this object which is an array list. If you're inside the class itself, you don't actually have to put this in front. If you just have cards, it will uh, refer to this right here, this cards. The only time that's useful is if you want to, let's see, are we doing anything like that here? Basically, if we, if we were getting something for some reason, we named this cards right here. I don't know why you would call a single card cards. That's a horrible name for a single card. But if you did, uh, there'd be two things called cards. There'd be this dot cards, which refers to the cards that belongs to the object, the fields. Then cards right here, there is no reference to cards. Uh, you can see that's not highlighted here. 
So this cards, if you wanted to actually use the object I've highlighted, you just use the word cards. And then that would refer to the parameter cards or the local variable, the variable that was declared right here, cards, not cards up here. And you can again see it's not highlighted. All right, please don't call one single card cards. All right, they have a different name though. One's called card and the other call is called cards, uh, plural. So that's the difference. All right, pop card, here we go. Just drop that in. Pop card. Oh, there's a second pop card. I scrolled right by it. All right, so what's the difference? These are really similar except pop card, this pop card right here that I've highlighted takes a number, an integer, and it removes at the index. So this pop card has an index, and it might be a good idea to call this index instead of i. I'll just leave it as, as it is right now. Now the other pop card does not take an index, but it actually calls the original pop card method. It just removes from the end of the list. So again, you don't want to go cards.size. That'll be the number of cards in there, but because we start counting at zero, the last card is size minus one. It's one less than the size. All right, and then it will just return whatever pop card removed. So we have an is empty and a size. We'll grab both of those. Those do exactly what they did last time. Again, a lot of this you could have just copy pasted from pile. We're basically just recreating pile. All right, so get card right here. It returns cards.get at position i. It does not remove it. So it's a way to like to look or what we're going to call peak later uh, without actually removing the card. So it's not a remove. We do have, here's the remove, it's called pop uh, card, and it does take an uh, index, just like get card, except you can see that it does remove instead of get. It does, pop card does return the card that was removed. Um, but again, these pop card and get card are similar, but get card doesn't actually uh, remove the card. All right, here's last card. That may be useful too. All right, we have a swap here because that's gonna let us change the order. If we needed to sort, that would be useful, but we're gonna use it to shuffle. So again, this creates the temp and it gets the card at I. Uh, now the set is a little bit weird. It's cards dot set. Now the set method takes an index and a card. So this says at position I, set the value at position I to be the value that is currently at position J. So temporarily, both of these, well, I and J will actually have the same value, but after this line of code, we're gonna set at index J, the temp, which is the one that we saved right here. So we save the index I, overwrote what was at index I with what was at index J, and then at index J, put that uh, the original object back in. So that's our swap, just like before. Again, the syntax is different because there's really no there's no equals going on down here. And last up, we have that shuffle, just goes through the double for loops, and it's the exact shuffle we had in deck. And we have the same problem. We got to create a random object. So I'm gonna take this line and make it static at the very top. It shouldn't affect any of uh, the way the rest of our code works. All right. Uh, we haven't tested this, but um, it works just like pile. Uh, so we should be able to run basically all the tests we had back there on card collection.